ladies, you've obviously been through this before, but how do you tell your younger teammates that you're playing UConn the team and not UConn the reputation? Uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is a big game for us. I know our young ones probably, they grew up watching UConn, so they already know kind of what they're up against. But we're not going to here to shake them. We're not here to scare them. We're just here to say that we're going to take it like another game, which is what it is. It's just a... It's a non-conference game in the middle of the season for us, and we just got to take it, do us, not really switch up with anything, just stay within our system and our roles and execute things that Coach says and just have fun. Go out there and have fun and get the win. Rick. Ezra, do you um, tell the uh, younger players what it was like for you the first time you went up against UConn and <laughs> as you played them you know, every year, yeah. what it takes not only to be competitive with them, but what you folks are going to need to do to get that victory. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think all of us that's played UConn before, we definitely tell the newcomers kind of how it felt, how we felt. And uh, I definitely say how I felt my freshman year. And it was tough. It is a tough team. And uh, I think we played the toughest, I think the toughest UConn team my freshman year. So just to be out there and just taking it all in at such a young age and being, against, being able to compete against the best. Because UConn, is, they're good at what they do. They're really good. You can't have any droughts. You can't slip up. And that's our biggest thing. But that also comes with us staying within our system and our roles. And that's my biggest thing is how can I just make sure that my team just stays within our system? We don't get rowdy in things. We just stay within us and continue to do us. Any other questions for student athlete? Okay. Asia, does this game with UConn feel any different? Because it seems like in the past, UConn was a measuring stick to see how close you guys yeah. were to championship level. Yeah. You won your championship. <laughs> so does it feel different this year playing UConn? Um, not really. Uh, they're still the same old great UConn that they are, and uh, they're still a good team. And we just have to go out and execute and do us, stay within our system. I mean, it is different now that both teams have national championships, but at the same time, it's the game of basketball. It's a game of runs. We're playing the same basketball that we've been playing for four years against them. So our biggest thing is just, like I said, staying within our system and our roles and making sure that we execute things that we need to do out there. Asia, you played with Azure on, on U19. Just what, what does she bring to the UConn team and how, what different dimensions does she add to their team? Um, Azure is very versatile. She is uh, exceptional in what she does. She's a great player. She can shoot the three. She can drive. Uh, it's a pretty hard guard, but at the same time, uh, like I said, I, the biggest thing is I could just go back to my team. Uh, that takes us. We're going to have to have layers in our defense. She she plays well with them. Uh, I remember play, playing against her at Duke. So she's a great player. So our biggest thing is just how can we execute? How can we have layers in our defense? Do you have good memories from off the court? Do yeah. Yeah, Z, Z, Z's a great person. She really is. Uh, it's my friend. We're not, like, close, close, <laughs> but, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ty, how difficult is it to keep up with UConn speed at the guard spots? Um... I mean, we just got to focus on us and uh, stay between them and the basket and just try to not let them uh, get past us and look over us. Anything else for student athletes? Asia, there have been some allegations coming from Missouri about some unruly behavior by the USC fans. Yeah. What were your thoughts when you first heard about that? Um, honestly, it really didn't pay any mind. Uh, my biggest focus is this game coming up tomorrow. Uh, and also, we're kind of not on social media like that, so we can't really see everything that's going on. But we do hear about it, of course. But right now, our main focus is UConn. Uh, that's what it is. That's kind of behind us. We turned the page on that. But honestly, we don't have any comments towards that. Greg. For both of you, uh, Pete kind of mentioned this when viewing UConn as a measuring stick. Is that something you still think about, or is that a fair assessment of how you're viewing this game? Uh, uh. I don't think they're necessarily a me measuring stick. Uh, this is a, but it, I'm not saying that it's not a big game. It is a big game, but I don't think they're necessarily a measuring stick to us. I think this, we really just need to focus on us at this time. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.